Hello friends, thank you for joining us today. 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 Glory to God. Thank you for joining us today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hello, Big TV. Tell me, what, tell me your name. Tell me where you're joining from before we pray. If there's a testimony you'll have to share, put in the comment section something the Lord has done before we just get to pray today. Before we get to pray today. Glory to God. 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 I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Let me just share with you, you know, a very powerful scripture. I want to share with you a very powerful scripture. I want to share with you a very powerful scripture today. And um, um, I want to share with you a very powerful scripture today. Tomorrow I'll continue our reading from the devotional. I want to share with you something from the Bible. First John chapter 5 in verse 14. This is a very powerful scripture. What does it say? It said, this is the confidence that we have in him. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Verse 15 says, if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desired of him. That is a powerful scripture that talks about a promise of God to answer prayers. That's a promise of God to answer prayers. It says, it says, whatsoever we ask of him, we know he hears us. Someone says, okay, but the scripture says, if we ask according to his will, how do I know what I'm praying for is the will of God? It's very simple. The, a will is a document. It's not stuck like in the mind. When my father died, the will is a document. The will is always a document. Guess what? God's will, he says, word. his word is a document. If you can find it in the word of God, it is his will. If you can find it in the word of God, it is his will. We're going to start from here and just go ahead and thank God. The first thing I want to thank God for is this. I want to thank God because all things are working together for your good. Let's go ahead and thank him for that. Father, I thank you because all things are working together for my God. It's a new year. It's a new season. It's a new month. Lord, I thank you because all things are working together for my good. Let's go ahead and bless his holy name. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I thank you because all things are working together for my God. I thank you because it's working together for my life, for my family, for my business, for my career. Lord, I'm grateful because all things are are working together for my God. Let's go ahead and thank him for that. Father, I thank you because all things are working together for my good. Father, I give you praise and glory. I give you praise and glory because all things are working together for my good. Father, Lord, I'm thankful. I'm so grateful because all things are working together for my good. I give you the praise, oh God. I, I know what's going on in the economy. I know what people are saying, but Lord, behind the scene, my God is pulling the strings uh, and everything is working together. Everything is working together for my good. I thank you in the name of Jesus because everything is working together for my good. Lord, I thank you. I thank you because it's not working against me it is working for me things are not working against me they are working for me lord i give you the praise lord i give you the praise because things are working together for my good they are not working against me they are working for me i give you praise i give you praise they are working together for my family they are working together for my lovely wife and mommy they are working for my children they are working oh god they are working for it's working for NLP. It's working for harvesters. It's working for everyone connected to this. It's working for all the business people. It's working for all the married people, all the single people, all the career executive. It's working in Canada. It's working in Belgium. It's working in the, in the EU. It's working in the UK. It's working in Ghana. It's working in the U it's working in South Africa and Zimbabwe in Botswana. It's working for our girl Rabba Koska Labada. It's working in the UAE. It's working in Canada. It's working in North America. All things are working together for our good. In Jesus' name, we'll pray. Glory to God. I don't know if you, I don't know if you have some time on your hands. Type in the comment section. All things are working together for my good. It's working for me, not against me. It's working for me, not against me. It's working for me, not against me. It's working for me. <coughs> it's working for me, not against me. 
It's working for me, not against me. This is the next thing I want you to do. If you've not shared it with your friends, take, just take a moment and press the share button and share with your friends and let them know that prayers have started. This prayer is going to be very intensive today. It's going to be very intensive. The next thing we want to pray about is this. The Bible says, let your will be done. Let your, it says, let your kingdom come. This is the prayer you want to pray. Father, in my life, let the will of God be done. Hallelujah. I submit myself to your will. Lord, I'm tired of running my own thought, my own way. Lord, I'm tired of running in Jesus name let your will let your will be done let's go ahead and pray Lord in Jesus name I'm praying oh God let your will be done let's go ahead and pray I submit to your will I submit myself to your will I submit my agenda to your will I submit my my, my, my desires to your will Lord in Jesus name I don't want to run in the flesh let your will be done let your will be done in my life in the name of Lord Jesus Christ Father let your will be done I'm asking you Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, that let your will be done. I'm asking you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that Father, let your will be done. Let your will be done, oh God. I submit myself to your will. I submit myself to your counsel. I submit myself, oh God. Let your will be done in my life. Lord, not of none of me, but all of you. Let your will be done in and through me. Let your will be done in and through me. Let your will be done in and through me. I submit myself to you. He must increase and I must decrease. Let your will be done, Holy Father. Let the will of God prevail. Let the will of God prevail. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray for James chapter 1. This is a very powerful prayer. We're going to pray from the book of James. James chapter 1. I want us to read this together. This is very powerful. James chapter 1. James chapter 1 in verse 5. The Bible says this. If any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. Who gives freely to all men without holding back. And it shall be given to him. It's a simple but powerful prayer you're going to pray. And what is the prayer? Wisdom, oh God. Lord, I desire a growth in wisdom. Lord, grant me wisdom to achieve my goal. Uh, you are going to pray like Solomon. Uh, Lord, expand my wisdom capacity. Uh, I want you to pray desperately. Lord, expand my wisdom capacity. Ah, yabo kora sunska balate and lego roma sambale karama shapura mata. Lord, expand my wisdom capacity. Lord, grant me wisdom to achieve the goals I've set. Oh God, oh God, expand my wisdom. Ah, yagaba leko breketo shoboroko skebra imbra shoko prando proko para skele breket. Expand my wisdom capacity, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Whatever makes you make foolish decisions, decisions that are not great in your life, in your business, such things have been demobilized. God is expanding your wisdom capacity as a businessman, as a married woman, as a married man, as a single person, as a career executive. God is expanding. Oh my God, I don't know if you believe it, uh, but if you believe it, type in the comment section. Uh, God is expanding my wisdom capacity. Type it. Uh, I say, God is expanding your wisdom capacity in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in business. Uh, in your field, uh, as a minister, as a politician, God is is expanding your wisdom capacity in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the solutions that we had for you to have before, you have it easily. I'm prophesying to someone today. Solutions are God is expanding your wisdom capacity. Solutions come to you easily. Solutions that are hard for other people. 
Problems that keep other people stranded. Solutions come to you easily. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, wisdom to take over your field. Uh, wisdom to achieve your goals. Uh, wisdom to make success of your relationship and marriage. Wisdom to parent your children. Wisdom to raise your grandchildren. Receive in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, every stubborn problem that you have not found a way around. Uh, receive wisdom. Every business problem you have not found a way around. Every approval problem you have not found a way around. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, receive wisdom to tackle it. Uh, receive wisdom to tackle it. Uh, receive wisdom to tackle it. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Right in the comment section, solutions come to me easily. Solutions come to me easily. Ha, yeah, 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 yeah,
and bracket. This day, the Lord is magnifying you. He's magnifying you. He's magnifying you. Declare, receive it. Hallelujah. I don't know what you do, but this day, this day, the Lord is mag- has a deed for Joshua. The Lord is magnifying you. Go ahead and receive it. Go ahead and receive it. Go ahead and receive it. Baro bashakota. He bagno mane kere susuli tere bashando kata. He bakush tele breke tele zuse breke de. In Jesus name we pray. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <coughs> if you're not shared with your friends, go ahead and share with them. We just have one minute to close the prayer, and I want to declare over you right now that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That 2023, the Lord will magnify you. He will magnify you in your community. He will magnify you in your industry. He will magnify you in your field. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare that you will come into preeminence. You will come into a place of elevation. You will come into greatness. You'll begin to gain attention. In the name of Jesus Christ, step into elevation. Hallelujah. Step into greatness. In the city where you are in, in the ministry where you are in, in the industry where you are in, I declare that the Lord is magnifying you. I declare that the Lord is this day. I'm praying for those. I'm, I'm, oh my God, the Spirit of God is speaking with me. I'm praying for those in the media space that this day the Lord will give you a voice. It will magnify you. I'm praying for those in the manufacturing space. That this day the Lord will give you a voice in the name of the Lord. He will give you a voice around the table. He will give you a seat on the table in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of you in diaspora, I pray in that city where you have moved into, the Lord will give you a voice. He will magnify you, will magnify you. Baroba Shatter, all of you that are into fashion and tailoring, the Lord will magnify you. Carpentry, handiwork, oh, the Lord will magnify you. All of the traders, right in that trade, the Lord will magnify you. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. Oh, glory to God. The Lord will magnify me. Rabakabayagada. I step into greatness and I said, ah, yeah, yeah. I step into greatness and elevation. I step into greatness and elevation. I step into greatness and elevation. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen and amen. Praise God. If you do not follow, go ahead and make sure you follow me on Facebook, you know, on, on Instagram, at Bola GID, on YouTube, at Harvesters TV. And listen to me, this is very powerful. Tomorrow, we are praying about resources. Oh, God. Tomorrow's prayers, it's going to be off the chart. It's going to be fire everywhere. I, I want to ask you to make sure you join Next Level Prayer. Today was already significant. Tomorrow is going to be powerful. If you missed the service yesterday, the feedbacks are huge. You saw it on my timeline. You, you know, literally we had over maybe 40,000 people watch the service already. I want to go ahead and watch the first and the fourth service life changing. And if you are in the UK, in the US, anywhere you are, and you want to be part of our community in Kenya, in Ghana, send me a DM. I want to help you connect you to the NLP community, the Harvesters Church or Harvesters Launch Team in your city. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I declare over you that you are stepping into greatness and you're stepping in, just not greatness, you're stepping into elevation in everything you do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, wine press is on the 25th, just next Wednesday. Whatever you have to do, get here for wine press. My God, we're believing for 10,000, and I believe that you're one of them, 10,000 financial, career, immigration approvals. We're believing for 3,500 marital breakthrough. I believe that you are one of them. And we're believing for 2,500 healings and fruit of the womb. You are one of them. All I'm asking you to do is come and receive your miracle. Just come because God has something in store for you. Thank you for joining today. I hope you were really blessed. God bless you. I, I, I'm, I know I've not told you this in a long time, you know, and you need to know this. The reason why I do this is because I love you. I love you. I love you. And I want to know that. And if you feel nobody cares about you and you feel as if, how can he love me? He doesn't even know me. I love you. I love you deeply because God has put your love in my heart. And all of you are like my brothers and my sister. And I love you deeply. And don't feel alone in this world. We're here for you to support you any way we can. I love you. I love you. And God loves you too. Have a beautiful day. Do you love me? Let me know in the chat box. God bless you.